Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a spicy peach sauce today. In uh, the one of our recipes we use this for with coconut shrimp, but you can use it with a lot of different things. I think it tastes really great with seafood, but you know, try it out. It might be great with pork too. So the first thing is actually we roast the peaches and the jalapeno together. So we do our roasting protocol. I'm gonna go ahead and line this sheet in foil. We do have the oven at 425. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. I haven't prepped my peaches yet, so you can see me do this in real time, because this is what it would be like on a prep day. Just taking my knife around that peach, opening it up, nice and pretty. Try to take that pit out. I'm taking a rough estimate that it's gonna take about three peaches to get two cups worth. You know, if you're a little over, a little under, not the end of the world. There's one tool you need with jalapenos, gloves. You don't absolutely have to use gloves, but you will more than likely end up with jalapeno juice on your hands. And if you're anything like me, you'll then end up with jalapeno juice in your eye. And that's not pleasant. I have done that multiple times. I hate to admit that I didn't learn my lesson the first time. But now we just keep a, a box of these gloves around the house for any time I'm working with anything. So depending on how spicy you want it to be or how big your jalapenos are, you might use one to two jalapenos. I'm a girl from Texas, I like things kind of spicy. So with this, the prep is not terribly difficult. We're just gonna cut off the ends, cut it down the middle to half it. And because everything is gonna end up being combined together in a food processor, I don't really have to do much else except just remove the inner membrane and the seeds. So you see I just pull it out, and that's really all I have to do. And what this does, this mem the membranes and the seeds are where a lot of the heat is. So when I take these out, I'm making them a little bit milder. Bring my baking sheet back, put those jalapeno pieces, those peaches together on this baking sheet. It just look pretty. Nice, all right, now I'm gonna take those gloves off because I'm done touching those jalapenos. And I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of oil. We oftentimes like to use avocado oil when we're roasting. We're not gonna roast these for as long, so I'm gonna use a little olive oil this time. I'm also using that because I'm gonna use olive oil in the final sauce. I wanna keep the flavors similar. So a little oil and actually a sprinkle of salt. It might seem weird to do salt with sweet, but the salt actually helps bring out some more of the flavors. And this is meant to be a kind of savory sweet sauce anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll finish up the sauce after that. Hey y'all, the peaches and jalapenos have finished roasting and I have let them cool, so I'm gonna grab those real fast. Nice and pretty. Now that they've cooled a little bit, I am actually going to put them in my food processor. I'm using a small food processor, because there's not a lot there. Putting peaches and jalapenos in there, everything's roasted. See how it got all soft, and gushy. Now, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my white wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of olive oil, and a little bit of salt. There we go. Put my lid on. And then I'm going to chop, puree, grind this up until it becomes more of a smooth paste. So I'm not gonna talk, this is gonna make a lot of noise, sorry about that. I'm gonna open it up and check it. This is why having a good like little food processor around can make all the difference in the world, because you can make super simple sauces. It takes no time. So if you want to, you could leave it at that consistency actually and just let it be a little sort of chunky or you can keep going. I actually kind of like it a little bit chunkier like that. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's really good. All right, then the last step is just to put this in a small container of some size or a mason jar or something. Put it in the fridge until you're ready to knead it. Ready to use it? That's what I'm gonna say, ready to use it. All right, that's it for today.